Hi there, Steve here. We're just going to do uh, another song in Open G. You uh, may have seen my previous video where I show you how to tune the thing up. Interesting fact, this guitar, I bought this in so 1966 uh, SG, I bought it in I think about 70, no it must have been about 1980, 81. Uh, it was for sale on the free ads as they used to have in those days and uh, yellow paper and I went to not very far away from where I live, probably about another about five miles away from where I lived at the time, this guy had it. He was a bit of a hippie. He had this, and he had a 50 watt Marshall head, a valve head. It was the um, I think it was about two, no, 1971. It was. It was the JMP 50, not the JMP 45, but the JMP 50. It was same as the Plexi, but an aluminium front. It was just a couple of years after they'd stopped making the uh, plexiglass ones. Really nice amp. Anyway, I paid a hundred pounds for this back in whenever it was 1980-81, and a hundred pounds for the head. So uh, I was really pleased. He was uh, a hippie, and as I said, he had a, a barn where um, he had all his acoustic equipment, and he was getting rid of all his electric stuff because he was fed up with it. And uh, I bought it. It's a nice guitar. Um, but the thing was, when I got home, I looked in the free ads again to see if I could find anything else interesting. And I came across a Marshall 4x12 cabinet, a 1969 cabinet, and um, uh, that was the year of it, not the model number. Anyway, I looked at it, that was the same telephone number as the guy I'd just gone round to uh, to buy this off. So I rang him up, and unfortunately didn't get a reply. This was on a Friday night, so the Saturday morning I tried again, didn't get any reply, so I drove up back to his house. And uh, when I got there, I said, I oh, see you've got the uh, a Marshall uh, cabinet for sale that probably goes with this amp, does it? Uh, he said, yeah, I couldn't sell that, so I just burnt it on the bonfire outside. This guy had burnt a 1969 4x12 that had greenbacks in it because uh, he didn't think anybody wanted it. <laughs> oh, did I cry? I did. Interesting thing about these, they had a very short uh, tenon joint here on this particular model. Up until about 1968-69 they had this joint. So if you, uh, you don't have to have a tremolo with this, you can just just push the neck. And uh, Pete Townsend once uh, described these guitars as being really good but a little bit weak. Uh, the thing was when he played, when he was moving the guitar around it would uh, have a tremolo effect like that. You can hear that? So you don't need a tremolo with it, it's uh, quite unstable like that. But it's got a nice tone, these P90s are... A little bit hotter than um, single coils and possibly a little bit hotter than humbuggers, but... Uh, nice, 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 very nice. I like it. It's uh, been my uh, slide guitar for a number of years now. Been around the world, really. Well, around Europe, anyway, we play. Anyway, today I want to play uh, a song for you by Howlin' Wolf. Uh, There's a song that George Thorogood covered. Uh, I think it was written by Willie Dixon, actually, who was uh, the bass player in Howlin' Wolf's band. It's uh, called Howlin' for My Baby. It goes a bit like this. Um, have a listen to everything. Hot like red pepper, sweet like cherry wine. Every time she kisses me, blows my mind. She's my little baby. She can be real, let me know. She belongs to me, yeah. If you hear me howling, I'm calling on my darling, yeah. Early in the 
morning Makes me jump and shout Every time she kisses me Makes my lights go out She's my little baby Sweet she can be Really let me know She belongs to me Can you hear me howling? I'm calling on my darling sin It's basically just uh, you're playing on the uh, what was the D and A strings, the A and D strings there, and it's there's a bit of a pull off there. said uh, I was only joking by the way I know many of you did actually cut a piece of copper pipe from your um, central heating system now that wasn't a good idea I was only joking so uh, hope you can get a plumber out fairly quickly but uh, tomorrow as promised we're gonna do that George Thorogood song bad to the bone <laughs> Wonder. 
at the Jordan Found. The hitman spoke up. Say, leave this one alone. But you can tell right away. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad. Just learned that song, uh, which I can't remember what year it was. That was about 1980 something, I think. It was when the film came out that was called Christine. It was um, a Stephen King film, a horror film about a car that uh, sort of rebuilt itself and things and killed people. Pretty really good film, actually. If you get the chance to watch it, take a look at that. Uh, Christine, Stephen King film. But anyhow, the opening uh, song. When the car was coming off the production line in 1957 or whenever it was, it was a Plymouth Fury, I believe, the car. <clears throat> the opening song was Bad to the Bone, and it sort of starts off with a sort of... Because <laughs> George Thorogood, actually, he doesn't uh, have a plectrum, doesn't use a plectrum, he uses finger picks on his, that are taped to his fingers, and uh, it's played like this. <laughs> When I play it, I use a flat pick, so I go... It's not the right way to do it, but that's how I do it, because uh, I can't play, as you can see. Some of the licks that he uh, uses in that is something along these lines. Just a slide in from the 11th to 12th fret. You're hitting two strings at once, it's the G and B strings. sometimes put a little wolf whistle in when in during this solo uh, bit in the middle is a chunk in the middle which uh, we do slightly different from George Thurrock and the Destroyers ours ends up uh, going along this sort of line <laughs> a thousand people to uh, be subscribed to me to get um, to be able to do uh, YouTube live so tell all your friends and get them to, to subscribe to me and that will be great remember I don't do any of that blatant advertising at all that other people seem to be doing on YouTube my these PG tips tea is really great PG tips, remember that. Mm, very nice. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be uh, using my Ernie Ball plectrums uh, for the rest of the time. See you soon. Take care, people.